Hey guys, welcome back to SimCity Let's Play Journal Thing Information Walkthrough Session. I'm Mike. Um, last time I literally just talked about the whole time about DLC stuff and did little mini things. This episode we're going to focus on town hall and departments and then raising our wealth. And then also based on what I'm seeing in the background, probably police. Um, we need more cops, so we're probably going to address that as we have money as well. The first thing I want to bring up is City Hall. As you can see, the tax rates. Um, we're going to click here on Edit. You can edit the Town Hall. Imagine that. We'll build, of course, the sign, which I like to do out of in front of most places. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then you see this. A whole bunch of different really interesting things. Um, this is where I'm actually probably going to leave it to the first one. I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I don't know. It's a tough decision. We can only choose one department right now. Eventually we can have more departments, but for now we can only choose one department. So you have the department of education, which helps with the building up schools and whatnot. You can see they all cost 15500 This is where having more than one town becomes essential because you cannot build every... De I remember last time I was talking about how it was kind of like frustrating to have perfect everything with it, but this is where having multiple towns is important in this game, and I like the fact that they did this, and I don't like the fact that they did this. If I build a Department of Education in my region, in my town, the entire region and all the cities technically have a department of education so this is where you should divide up the work and say like hey i'll have this and you have this and i'll have this and you have this so all the bases are covered i think the way this town is leaning i want to say this town is leaning to having a good financial district and a good tourism district based on because i want to try out the new dlc um, and because if we're going to have a nice business district because of the tourism and then probably end up actually being mass transit. So those are probably the three that's going to be in here, and we'll have to build another one. But I'll go through and talk through them real fast. Department of Education, we just talked about. Department of Finance, the big thing, this one is each wealth class I can tax differently. And I do like building this because it just helps with getting money, <laughs> basically. Department of Safety, this allows us to have the hospital, the large fire station, and the large police precinct. It's kind of unfortunate that you have to have that to have really good coverage, but... Department of Tourism, this unlocks a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff for us right now. This is probably what I'm going to build first. And then we have the Department of Transportation. This allows, you know, the bus terminal, ferry dock, a lot of that stuff. And then the Department of Utilities um, that allows better all of this. Now, I think I'm set where I want, you can have up to three. For now we have one, but we can get other two on our next upgrade at 15,000 residents. I'm pretty sure I'm going to want Department of Tourism, Transportation, and Finance. I believe I'm going to do Department of Tourism, no, Department of Finance first. No, I'll do Department of Tourism first, and then that way we can start making some money through tourism and start building up the town that way. Um, so we're going to actually go ahead and do this right now. We're going to have to destroy some houses, but that's okay. Um, we'll destroy this one, just that one right here. So we'll go ahead and build... No, I want it like this. We'll go ahead and build our department. So as you can see, as soon as this is approved, we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff unlocked, maybe, in a second. <laughs> I think question mark well maybe it already got unlocked and we just don't even know it oh yes it did it didn't tell us but we unlocked a whole bunch of stuff tourism where you can make money outside of things so for instance here you can now notice that the big stadium the attractions here and all the landmarks we now have the ability to build and most likely people will start giving us tasks in which case we'll just go off of those tasks deciding what buildings to leave so now, even if we built a brand new city, we could have access to all of these things. Um, so this town is pretty much going to be focused on business tourism, I think is what this theme of this town has gone to go to. And the only reason I'm doing this is, well, ha, perfect, 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 is because I want to try out the new DLC. It's honest. That's why I wanted to do like, 
you know, hey, viewer interaction, but I think this is just going to stick to what I'm going to do because I just want to try out this new DLC to show off that because I did purchase that. Okay, so real quick, we'll learn about building density. Increase the density of your city's buildings is important to growing your population. Denser buildings support more sims, whether as residents or workers. As I said, I don't really have anywhere else to go. I don't want to build in that corner of town until I get the natural resources. Once I harvest the natural resources and it's not a polluted area, I will then build my housing there. I want to just build up my skyscrapers here and hold the people down here. So I talked about this a little bit. I talked about how happiness equates to better density. So people spending money in parks basically is what it comes down to. So here it's going to show us the building density map shows the density of buildings in your cities. Open the building density map. The bars on each building in this view show the building's expansion progress. Buildings ready to expand will have a green bar. So likely to move out, likely to expand. You can see this whole area of town, the original section of town that we've built, is really close to expanding. As you can see, we're already having our first, this announcement and this whole thing has been kicked by, we're having our first medium density complex being built. You can see the areas near the buildings aren't li as likely, and then if you go to the newer side, they're probably not as likely to expand because they've only been here a little bit. But as you can see, these older original areas are getting pretty ready to expand, and we'll figure out what we can do to help those expand. So building densities won't be expanded density if the roads they built on cannot support them. I talked about this already as well. Different streets support three de building densities, but with four or six lanes, the water avenues can support more traffic. You can upgrade roads after drawing them, but you cannot upgrade streets to avenues. Once it's one block wide, you cannot make it two blocks wide without deleting it and rebuilding it. All right, if you need want skyscrapers, you need high density. So we are having a medium wealth, probably medium density complex being built. All right, we do have we do have a problem. We'll deal with this in a second. Again, not enough shoppers. That'll come in with tourism shortly, and then that'll also come in with the medium density. So we're just gonna have to ignore that for now. Um, okay, these aren't quite ready to expand yet. We can see some of these are getting really close to wanting to expand, which is good. They're getting pretty close. Getting pretty close. Uh, looks like, yeah, medium wealth little townhomes is developing here. And as you can see, it took up just about the entire block. And also, it looks like we're having our first medium, yes. So the, the densities go for all three classes. As you can see, we don't have any medium density um, shopping yet, but some of these areas, well, maybe not. They're not doing as well, but they'll start to do better, especially with the tourism. But they're all medium levels right now. They're going down a little bit because we don't have as many shoppers, but whatever. So these as well, um, you know, if I were to start getting their own resources from the town, they'll probably be doing better. But as you can see, we are getting our first medium density. So unfortunately, these are all still the lowest tech level. I haven't talked about tech level yet. Tech level is only with industry, and it's basically... You know, like you have like the medium wealth and the high wealth. You obviously want high wealth housing and commercial, but you don't want, you want high tech industry. Low tech industry pollutes. So this is medium density. All this means it's going to be more pollutant and whatnot. But, oh, did you see how fast that fire engine got there? That's our bell working for you. So high tech means they're making more money, obviously, and they're not polluting usually, and it's a lot better for your town. But in order to get the tech level up, you have to build schools. Um, and I don't think this town is going to become focused on that based on the fact that we've already built a Department of Tourism, but we will build other towns in the regions that will likely focus on that to allow the tech level in that town to build up or build up here. But we'll let that build. Let's go check the progress on this. Good. We have our fires being fought. That's what I like to see. How are we doing on buildings? We have one abandoned building. Where is this ab abandoned building? It's over here, and it was abandoned because of a fire, so we'll take care of that. All right. We're getting closer, though. We're getting closer to the House of Worship. All right, and there we go. Our first um, medium-density building is set. So as you can see, it, it holds much more people, and uh, it, I guess it's a little park next to it. But you can see it took up the whole city block. Um, 
which is unfortunate because it looks like we're going to have a little bit of wasted space unless I turn that into parks. But what are you going to do? Oh, we're playing on medium speed. I was wondering why things were going so fast. Jeez, oh man. Cruise ship, now that this will be available at some point later. Has zero passengers on it because there's nothing in the region. Imagine that. All right. I think things are all been settled at the moment. Uh, we do have quite a bit of money. And I think it's time to use that money to start gathering some natural resources because we haven't really dealt with that yet. Oh, no, wait. No, actually, police station. Sorry, I lied. My bad. Okay, here's a police station. This works just like the other things where you get your patrol cars, your patrol rates, you know, the jail cells. It has only certain capacity. We're going to be doing expansions to it, but, you know, at the moment, we don't do that. Um... Yeah, I'll place it right here. Sure. I wanted to kind of place them all here. I could actually I could place it right there. Or I could place it here. Hmm. Which where do what where would be the pros and cons? It says it raises medium wealth land value, but that might be across the whole town. Oh, but I guess this is the region that it covers, so I'd rather it be down here at the houses. So I'm going to go ahead and put it here. So we'll go ahead and do that. So again, this is going to flash at us and tell us, oh, hey. As you can see, this kind of spoils to what you can get later on. You know, helicopters, vans, detective cars, just basic police stations. And you can see we do have one criminal roaming the streets. Going to steal something. All right, you go do that. Uh, let's go ahead and add the sign to this. As it's still hiring, we'll add the sign and the flag. Boom. All right. We're good to go. Information real fast. The police station will send officers on patrol and respond to emergency calls. Criminals start at a small business hoodlums. <laughs> Hoodlums, they use that word. All right. If you don't arrest them, they'll move on to bigger and bolder crimes. While low wealth sims are tough enough to be unaffected, mid and high wealth sims won't live in crime infested neighborhoods. Um, it does an information thing from just about everything. Um, and I know some of them I've skipped because I zoomed out or went away after building it and didn't actually get to see the information section, but I think I've covered most of the information they talk about, so hopefully it's not too big of a deal to you guys. <clears throat> How's our water doing? We still have plenty. As you can see, eventually the area underneath of it will get dry, but it's expected not to be dry for, you know, 1,000 months. So that's no big deal. Alright, this is just starting to respond to crime, so give this time to react. Give it time. Give it time. Alright. Now I think we're going to use our next bit of money for... How much does this stuff cost? 37... 22... 22... Great. So we'll have the money by the time I figure out what I want to do. Um, I really want to expand to this section of the town, so I'd really like to clear this town of natural resources so we can expand it. Um... See, there's no coal. All the coal's up here. And then iron. There's a pocket of iron over here. So this is a pretty high concentrated pocket of iron. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get these two pockets. Ooh, there's a big pocket right there. Oh, my gosh. How did I f miss that? <sighs> well, we'll just have to move from these two. We'll, we'll do this pocket, and then we'll do this pocket. We'll get this pocket first. We'll check oil. Let me check oil real fast. I don't think... Oh, no. We're going to get the oil here first. We're going to build the oil and start sucking up all the oil around here first before we do anything. Look at this. This is... This is... Uh... Yeah, we'll suck up all the oil here first. We'll, we'll do the oil. We'll do the oil. So that way we can at least expand to this section. Um, oil can make you a good bit of money off the start. So we'll start with that. Uh, but that costs more money, so we will just wait. 
so for a little bit we're gonna have to merge our industrial and get it kind of close to we're gonna get it close to commercial and kind of close to residential but unfortunately that's just the way it has to be and they're gonna have to deal with it likely will cause a little bit of pollution for a bit but so he's complaining because People are have the cops are having a hard time. Okay, so we are having shoplifting problems. Well, we shall deal with that later, mint later, I guess. Um, as you can see, education has a factor in this, but we have no education, no education in this town. I don't plan to have education for a little bit. It costs too much money. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I could repay these bonds, or I could take out another one. I like to save the last one just for emergency purposes, you know, just in case I need urgent money because I need to do an expansion, so I won't take that out. Um, but as you can see, we can take out a $50,000 bond now because we're a bigger city, so they trust me more. So we can take out much bigger bonds. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and raise all of these to 10%, um, just to make sure, you know, I wouldn't want them to be doing that to me in real life. I'd rather them wait because they're already making plenty of profit, but I'm an impatient person, and I don't think you guys want to wait either. So we're going to fast forward and hope nothing crazy happens. So we're going to get our bank, build it, and be done. How is this stuff going when there are... Oh, they're really close to upgrading. I hope all these merge together. Ah. Eh. Again, missing... If I had schools, it would help them. But I'm fortunately not doing that yet. Sorry. We're worried, more worried about the oil. Kind of cool, though, sometimes to see how the town... You know, how the town works. Everybody flowing, the rush hour... Oh my gosh, look at all the cars. Look at all of the cars. We have so much traffic in this town for 5,000 people. Looks like we got a visitor, though. We have the Simnu 7 helicopter. Now, I know in the last SimCity game, you had to build the TV station, which was a reward... And then you could get that, and that would cover it. But this now covers... Now that our town is big enough, I don't have to do anything. It doesn't cost me anything. But it now covers all the important events. So if you see that in town, follow it, because it's likely going to something tragic that's about to happen. And wow, look at this traffic jam. Holy crap. Well, glad that's not me. We do have a serious traffic problem in this town. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and build... Let's do it. Let's go ahead and build um, our crude oil. Now, underneath of these wells is where it's going to build. So, 340, 311, 308. I want to place it right where it's going to get three. There we go. Right here looks like the peak. We'll go ahead and place it. There's oil underground. The city isn't doing a fracking about it. Petroleum, because what is the world going to run on? The sun? But hey, I just placed one. It's still hiring people. Um, so as you can see, it's definitely going to have a pollution problem. Um, but that's okay. And you can see it has a crude store. Oh, uh, yeah, see, their, their happiness is going to go down because I just built this thing near it. But it only affected these couple people. And this is a temporary thing. I expect it to only be a temporary thing. Um, as you can see, they're going to mine right underneath of these. So, oh, yeah, let's click on this. One oil well is great, but did you know that you could buy more? You can even extend the service road and build some oil wells in the other areas. Try it out. Um, I'm actually probably going to do that. So you can see our oil is this way, so we really need to build this way instead of here. Um, so what we're going to do is first I'm going to build this sign. Because that helps. I don't know what it does, but it helps. And then I'm going to build the service road. I have to go from here. We'll build it to here. And then what I can do is I can build another oil pump jack here. 
and that costs a lot of money. Now we have 53, <laughs> but hopefully this will make us some money here, and we'll, we'll be expanding, because eventually you'll see this start to dry up, and I won't be able to get all of it, so likely I won't be able to get this over area over here, or won't even try for it, but as long as I get the majority of this right here, um, as long as it makes us money temporarily until our tourism is able to take off, um, then we're, we're going to go with this. I just want to get this uh, the majority of this out of the way, make the money that I can, and we'll be done. Okay, so while that did ca cost us a lot of money at the time being, it is going to make us money later on. It's still hiring people, though. What the heck? Oh, the city's first apartment buildings. Oh, pack it even more poor. Okay, so we had our first medium wealth, medium density building. Now we are going to get... Where? I don't see it. Ah, I guess right here. This is going to be our first low wealth, medium density housing. Um, which is pretty much like tenants and it's we want to get rid of those as soon as possible But unfortunately, that's we're gonna leave it the way it is right now. I Could start trying for high wealth, but I really need the population right now <laughs> So we're gonna have to deal with it All right, once I get this done, we'll probably call it an episode, but you can see it stores 2,000 crude barrels now eventually it's not gonna be able to store anymore and eventually we're gonna to need to ship it out of town. So this is why you need a trade depot and we'll have the money here in a short minute. You import, export, and store resources like coal and crude oil with a basic unit. It also accepts freight shipments for industry and additional trade depots attract more trucks from the global market. So literally this is a place for you to store resources like crude oil, but it's also a place for you to store freight or materials that your town has made. So if your town has like made TVs or computers, you can store it here. And this is where if you want to send things out to the public and the world and the other regions, you need one of these. And this is how we make money off of oil. We'll make money off of oil by selling it to these places, but we can also make a bunch of oil by selling it to other regions. And if you have other towns in your regions, you'll make more money quicker, but we don't, and it'll still sell to the global market and we'll be good. So we will need to build one of these and I'm gonna wanna build it right here. Okay, good, just making sure that wasn't filling up. So I'm gonna wanna probably place it right here, but it costs 10,000, so we're gonna wait another month. And I will build an amusement park. That's probably a good idea. We'll build the amusement park once this is gone. We'll build it over top of this. I really think I need another, I need to have this road connect. I really think I do. Well, we just killed a lot of stuff over town because of this. Wow, the traffic. This is crazy. Why is everybody leaving at 10 a.m.? What is everybody going back to their houses for? I don't know. I have no idea why. <gasps> Ooh, we're getting good development now. Look at the development. Yes. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. We don't have workers. But I have the money, so give me a moment. This is definitely going to increase our population. You can see the population went down a lot because they had to destroy the houses, but it's hopefully going to shoot up now that the people are here. Um, I guess I could look to see what type of jobs this does. It doesn't tell me, so I'm assuming it's anybody. But I believe these are... These are all low, low land value, so hopefully we'll get a lot of sims packed in here. You can see they're all for lease and for rent, so our population should hopefully start to go up. And I'm going to slow this down now. And let's see if we have people here yet. We don't. Okay, I'm going to build a bus stop over here. Bus stop right in front of it. That should hopefully help a bit. Maybe. Oh, they don't have a bus stop over here. That's not cool. We can add a few more. We can afford it. I raised your taxes. Oh, I don't like that. We might have to build another police station over here. I don't want to. I refuse. Alright, what's this? A challenge? We're not really keeping up with the crime in this city. Maybe you should add a patrol car lot to the police station. Alright, this is 10,000. Sure, we'll do it. 
This is more important at the moment. So add a patrol car. I believe that adds two more patrol cars to the city, which should help a lot. Does this have workers yet? Yes, it has workers. All right, and as you can see, it has some workers because this one is working, but it doesn't have these. So it's starting to extract oil. Um, yeah, only 25 barrels a day. Hopefully this will increase as we get more workers. Hopefully, because you can see our population is now 6,000. With these, and this will be, you know, going up here as well. So now that we have 10,000, I'm going to go ahead and build the trading place. And then I think we'll be good. Ooh, I can't build it there. I need these expansions, so I need to have a place where I can build them. Alright, fair enough. This is kind of an area that connects... That connects commercial and industry. So I don't mind building it here for now. Actually, no. I want to, I want to build it back here. I'm going to build it back here, sorry. Let's go here. Ah, that cuts that cuts me off. I have to build it here. Yep, I'm going to destroy that factory, I think. But I'll zone some more factory. Local business search the mayor to turn recarbon to shipping hub. We're gonna do it just for now. It's gonna become a hub. Just for now, really. It's really just a temporary thing, I promise. We're gonna be tourism. Maybe not. Maybe the tourism thing will be a hoax and I'll delete this and build something else. You never know. Happiness is going way up here for whatever reason. Maybe because of the trading, because they all have jobs, or they all came home and they all spent a bunch. One or the other. Okay. Oh, airplane. What is that? That's just flying over, I guess, taking a look. Okay, so this is hiring, but managed global market. Oh, I see. Add storage lots. So right now, it has a basic storage lot. And this basic storage lot does nothing but store freight. And this is great because the freight can just go around the industry. However, we want to store petroleum oil. I want to sell this to the community and to overseas. You can see there's all sorts of stuff. I can do refined oil. I can do plastics and processors and alloys and metal. I can do my raw ore. I can do... I can add more onto my freight, I can add coal, but right now we have one of them and that is freight. But I'm going to add on a crude oil storage lot. This stores 2,000 barrels. And this will basically be here just to store our crude oil. And any crude oil that's being stored here can be sold overseas. So now I can click on this and I can say, this is how much freight we have. And then this is how much oil we have. So manage global market deliveries. Okay, so what this is crude oil. This will show me what I can import and export. Now, if I wanted to import raw ore, I could add one here and I could import. Now, importing raw and importing and exporting resources costs money. So per thousand barrels of crude oil, it's going to cost me 11 grand. And that comes from the actual city fund itself. That goes in the transactions funds. But I don't want to import any oil because I have oil. And I can use it locally. However, these factories and stuff aren't using it and I don't have any buildings that use oil. Now if I were to build an oil power plant, an oil power plant would be useful in this case because then I would want to use it locally because I would collect the oil and then I would use it in my own power plant and I wouldn't have to pay any money. However, I want to just make money and I want to export it into the global market. Selected resources being exported. Okay. So we are now exporting We're also doing it local deliveries, and we're also exporting crude oil, which is good. That's what I'd like. So hopefully we'll start seeing stuff with, work with this soon, because as you can see, all three of these are working now. They're drilling that much oil, and that's how much oil we have stolen. As this starts getting, you know, filled up, it'll start getting shipped and delivered and stored here, in which case it'll then be sold, and we'll start seeing transactions occur. All right. 
really getting some medium density development in this section of town, and this is fantastic. Um, good, we're getting more medium wealth density development as well, which is good. Uh, this building needs to go. A building fire. And... I think that's it. We still have crime problems over here, but whatever. We added more patrol cars. All right. I th oh, let me show you guys one quick thing. Um, challenges, achievements, leaderboards, friends list, leaderboards. Um, no, this isn't what I want. This is just saying we have police cars now. I just have to click on it because it bothers me. Why are you going outside of the town when we need your help here? You can see it's going to go to that region, but there's nothing there right now. That kind of bothers me. Come back. Come back. I didn't say you could go there. I don't want to volunteer anything. We need it ourselves. Okay. I hope this isn't pollution fog that's developing. Let's look real fast. Where do I get to that? Sorry. Air pollution map. Okay, good. We don't have too much air pollution around here. We have wind. Alright. We're going to go ahead and quit and exit to the main menu. I want to show you guys one quick thing that has to do with exporting materials to the global market. I don't only know how to get to it through here. So SimCity World, I can click on here. And um, this has a bunch of stats, which I'll show off. I'll show off this in a different episode, but global market is what you, I want to show you. This will show you what the money is. So right now we're exporting, we're drilling and exporting crude oil. Now this shows you the price. As you can see, it's gone up quite a bit. You can see it's gone from, you know, 9,500 simulines a truckload to over 11,000. So it is on the increase and hopefully it's on the increase because we make more money. You can see over the past week, it was down. So it's definitely going up in respect to the past week. So this is a global demand. So this shows you that if it's going up, there's more people that need oil in their towns than are drilling it. So if this starts going down, then that means a lot of people are trying to export than import. And then over the past month, which this is very neat that this is actually like a mini economy inside of this game, which is pretty impressive. I think it's still loading. Yes, it is. Uh, wow, it was really high a couple weeks ago, um, but it's gone back down. So hopefully it's back up on the increase, and that's what we'll hope for. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. hope you enjoyed this episode. It was kind of informative. We covered a lot of stuff, and I think we're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.